Hey there Shadowiz, how is everybody doing today? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Animal Crossing for the Nintendo 3DS. In this episode, we are going to be doing something very exciting, and that is, we are going to start construction on the cafe that I was requested by Blathers to build. But before we do all that, we have some mail, so let's check this out. Who's it from? It's from Butch. Okay, let's read this. Hmm, don't you think a room feels completely different if you change the carpet? Why not change things up with this? You probably get that suggestion a lot, haha. <laughs> I actually need, um, I need, uh, walls. So, oopsie. Oh, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I've been doing some cleaning up off camera. Cleaning up my town and stuff. Just trying to get everything to look all nice. Let's have a look at what kind of wall this is. I mean, floor. I need walls. I don't need floors. Illusion floor. Lord, that sounds exciting. We'll go and check that out uh, towards the end of the episode, but um, we are going to go to the uh, the mayor office, our office, not the mayor office, our office, and we are going to uh, ask Isabel if she can build the cafe for us. So yeah, today is a nighttime episode. I don't usually record at nighttime, but I thought it might be interesting to have a nighttime episode, so I waited a little while. And yeah, usually I record at about 3 o'clock. Hi man, Ka Chaot, is there something I can help you with? Public works projects. Uh, you want to work on a public works project? I'm happy to help. What would you like to work on? Let's start a new project. Here are the current requests from the townspeople. Okay, so we want the cafe. Uh, here are the other stuff, um, other things that I can make in case anyone wants to suggest something. Anyone? Nope. <laughs> There's not really many things, but yeah, let's go with the cafe. You won't be able to demolish the cafe project once it's finished. Shall we start? Let's do it. Yay, let's go find a place to build. So, a lot of people say calf. But I say cafe. When I say cafe, people look at me funny. That's how you say it. It's it's only French. <laughs> it's French. I believe it's cafe. I'm really not sure. It doesn't even really matter. But I know exactly where I'm going to be putting this cafe. I suggested it in uh, the last episode. I suggested that we put it right over here. Of which I have put a path right here. So that's cool. Uh, so let's just stand here. And let's see if this puts it where we want to. Yes, Mayor. Is this about where you'd like to place the cafe? What do you think? Well, let's see. Yes, I think that would be perfect. We'll need to remove the plants and anything buried underground, but if that's okay with you, this spot is fine. It will probably look something like this when it's all finished. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks really nice. Hmm. Should I move it over a little bit? No, I think I like it like that. Yep, let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's gonna look so nice. I think I need to extend the path out to the left a bit more. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the needed preparations. Oh my gosh, wow, that's huge. To help us gather donations, whoa, <laughs> to help us gather donations to fund the cafe is our helpful town gyroid Lloyd. It's going to be hard to wait for all the donations to arrive, so we have our calf. Well, I must return to the town hall. Ah, uh, you don't need to worry about making the trip back, Mayor. Okay, then I'll be taking my leave. I different differentiate between calf and cafe. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, let's go ahead and place uh, one more part of the path down. We'll plant this one here. Oh, not plant. Just put it there. Uh, boop, boop. There we go, perfect. So, hmm, what else are we going to do in this episode? We are going to go to the stores, of course, because that's where we always go. Oh, that reminds me, Genji is moving out, unfortunately, so that sucks. The, the whole store thing didn't remind me of that. I was walking past the bamboo and I was like, oh yeah, Genji. He ripped my heart out and said he wanted to leave, okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well, too bad, people come and go. Nothing you can do about it. But his house is in the most perfect place ever. Now, whoever moves in after him is going to move on one of my paths, and that's going to be so sad. I see nothing here that I want. There's, of course, some walls that we can check out. Not the palace wall. I don't like that. No, thank you. Uh, some other people might like that, but I don't. A bamboo wall. I don't like that either. No, thank you. Once again, no walls. This is annoying. <laughs> An exquisite... Rock, uh, rug. Ugh, that looks gross. Ugh, I hate that. Looks pretty nasty. And an illusion floor. Oh, this is the thing that we got. Show me. 
Oh, wow. That's actually kind of cool. I've never seen that before. Butch gave that to us. I don't know if I'll use it, though, so I guess I'll sell it later. Anyway, let's see what kind of um, plants Leaf has in store today. A little cactus. I completely forgot. Oh, yeah, I was buying um, an axe. I took no notice of that. I can't believe it. It's just a stupid little cactus. I wish there was something else, like a really big plant. I didn't even take notice of that plant. Unusual. Hmm, uh, maybe I just forgot. Anyway, let's go check out the Abel sisters. So I went to my girlfriend's town, and yet again she gave me her oranges, and uh, I paid her. But I decided to just plant them in her town without her knowing, so I did that. Well, actually, she did know this time. She helped me. I insisted. I told her I'm not taking them home and I'll just leave without them <laughs> if she doesn't plant them, so I planted them. And now she's going to get 504,000 bells every time the perfect apples grow. We did all the math. It's crazy. Oh my gosh. That's so uh, creepy. But I like it. It looks like that, um... It looks like that monster from... Uh, Wind Waker. I can't remember the name, but that's really cool. I like it. Um, uh, we're not going to take a... Visit. I mean, we're not going to take a trip to uh, the museum top floor today because I'm kind of doing that off camera. I'll probably end up showing you guys what my exhibit looks like when I'm finished with it. But for now, we're just going to leave it alone and I'm going to do it off camera without you guys uh, seeing. So it can be a cute little surprise. My idea is that it's going to be filled with memories from this uh, series. Anyway, let's go into here. And let's see what kind of paintings Red has for offer. Crazy Red. Hey Red, how's it going? Oh, welcome to my gallery. Come in and see some art. Oh boy, cousin, when was the last time you were here? Well, I'm rather pleased to see you back again. I'll tell you, this week's items are as rare as they come. I'm almost green with envy that I can't buy them all. But remember, we sell only one item per customer, so make your choice very carefully. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed this wave one. My Japanese teacher actually had a picture of this um, in his classroom, but I don't believe there's a volcano involved, so I have a feeling this one is fake, but I'm not entirely sure. This one looks awesome. He looks like he's about to bro fist, though, so I don't know if that's real or not. Uh, let's check out the other ones. This one's not bad. It's a little blank, but I like it. Oh, it's a fruit bowl. Okay, I just realized it's a fruit bowl. I don't think that one is real. I have no idea. This one looks real, to me at least. There's no way of telling that one's fake. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to buy this one. Whoa, I see you've got eyes only for that wild painting there. I'd say it has eyes for you. Whoa, excuse me. I must say that's quite amazing. So between you and me, I'm selling it for just 3,920 bells. This time, and this time only. What do you think? You want it? I'll take it. Well, really? What a shock. Well, obviously, you'd have to be as crazy as me to pass it up. Let me just give... Let me just get that sweet, sweet payment, and we'll be all set. There you go. Okay, got it. Well then, I'll mark this wild painting as a sold item. Everyone else is out of luck. Don't you worry, I'll wrap this up nice and safe and mail it to ya as soon as this exhibit is over. But remember, if your mailbox is full, it won't get delivered. So make sure you've got the space ready. Okay, cool. I like that little leaf he has. What is that? Maybe it's a thing that foxes have in their mouth or something. I have no idea. That's a really nice leaf though. It looks like one of those helicopter leaves, you know, the ones that you hold up really high and then you let go, and then they they spin like a helicopter thing. It's really cool. Oh, look at the cherry blossoms. Awesome. I planted a lot of perfect apples right here, so I'm going to get tons of bells, probably more than my girlfriend, probably about 600,000. There are so many perfect apples around this town now. I've been planting them like crazy. There's some where they usually are, and there's some... Oh, hello. <laughs> Just hanging out in the alleyway. Whatever. There's some right over here. There's a ton, actually. Look at all of these. Really cool. Oh, hello, Cherry. How's it going? I didn't notice you behind that tree. And there's obviously some right over here, and there's some by the town hall. Oh, yeah. I need to fix this eventually, but I won't do that right now. I also saw an, um, a rotten apple on the ground, so I'm going to have to pick that up as well. I originally wanted to put the cafe here. You may have noticed that I uh, moved the bamboo. Well, I technically, I cut it all down. 
but um, when I tried to put the cafe here to see how it looks, uh, this is in the way, and so is this, so I can't do anything about it. It couldn't go here, which kind of sucks because it would have looked really, really nice here. Um, but yeah, what else do we do in this episode? I'm really not sure. There's not much we can do. I guess we can go look inside my house and see how that illusion uh, floor looks like, but we've already seen it. So, hmm, contribute to a campaign? Sure, let's, uh, let's give them... 30,000 bells. Sound good? No, let's just give them 20,000 just in case we need that uh, extra 14,000 for something else. Hmm, what do you guys think we should do? There's really nothing we can do. I might have to end the episode actually. Let's talk to a few pre people first and then I'll end the episode. Oh, the whole gang is here. What's up? How's it going? Phil, my man. Hey, good evening, Chaot. It's a good one, right? Cheap? Sure is. So, something up, Cheap? Wanna chat? I think it's near the time for you to know who to visit us again. What? Cheap? You know, the one that lets us know spring is truly here. Zippity Bunny. He's that bunny with blue eyes. They're so big you almost feel like they'll absorb your soul. Oh gosh. I don't think I really want to meet that guy. He sounds terrifying. Anyone want to talk? Oh, Phoebe. You want to talk, huh? How's it going? Hey, Chaot, aren't you ever gonna find, uh, oh, aren't you ever gonna fund a nice modern bridge? Cinder could use a second fabulous selling point, you know, in my humble opinion. What's our first fabulous selling point? Obviously, it's you, Mayor Chaot. I'll talk to Isabel about it, so keep it in mind for your next big shot meeting or whatever. Oh, that's so cool. She suggested a modern bridge. We might have to see what that's like. Maybe when Chops moves out will um, put it near our house because I don't really feel like demolishing a bridge right now so yeah we can put it right here which is awesome because it's there's nothing in the way besides Chops's house so hopefully he moves out eventually um, I'm not sure if he will or not maybe we should go to the island let's do that let's go to the island now I really 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 want to I want to see what kind of awesome things they have on sale and uh, we can play some mini games as well so let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna talk to Cap'n. I don't think I'm gonna listen to his song this time. I think I just wanna skip it. So how's it going, Cap'n? What's that? If you want to head to the island, it'll be 1,000 bells per round trip. Yes, please. Gar, good deal. Leave it to me. You can't bring your effects onto the island, so I'll just be holding on to him for you. Don't worry yourself now. None of your stuff will... Oh, most of your stuff will probably be here when you get back. Well then, hop in me boat. Bye, Gar. Okay, oh, it seems it's almost... Oh, it is 8 o'clock. Cool, perfect. Brilliant. Anyway, we're heading to the island. He's gonna sing us a song, but I think I'm gonna skip it because I don't really have time to listen to it. So, away we go. This is such a long trip with the song. It takes about three minutes. That's crazy. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so, come on, just skip. There we go. Yeah, are you in such a great hurry? Didn't you just start this voyage? You should be listening to me song. No, I'm sorry, Captain. I don't really feel like it today. Okay, what kind of interesting things are here? Oh, we have a red Aloha shirt, which I have. We have this, which I have. And we have a Tortimer thing, which I don't have and I don't need because it's kind of a ripoff. Uh, but yeah, cool, huh? We're here at the island. Let's go ahead and do a tour. What do you guys think? Well, look who it be. Good to see you, Kea. Did you want to register for a tour or catch a boat back to Cinder? Go on a tour. Yar, good choice, lad. Where you? Where would you like to tour? Let's see. Look at all of these different ones. Hmm. Evening firefly tour. I've never seen that before. Easy balloon hunt tour. Oh, balloon hunt tour. That's so cool. Should we do that? Or maybe we should do the firefly tour. A firefly's your thing? Are, you, are your bug catching skills at an all time high? Then sign up for this tour right away. I think we should do the balloon hunt tour first, and then we'll end off the episode with the firefly tour. Anyway, elite balloon hunt tour? Yes, let's do it. Oh, I gotta really focus on this. It's elite. We gotta go crazy. We gotta go hard in the paint. We can't take no prisoners. We really need to do this. Okay, come on now. <laughs> I don't really need to see that. I know where I'm going. Okay, away we go. Hey there, Whippersnapper. Thanks for joining us on the Elite Balloon Hunt Tour. 
I hope your aim is good, because it's time to pop some balloons. You'll use that slingshot you're holding to pop balloons that are floating up in the sky. Watch out for the wind, though. It might come through and change the course of the balloons. The round balloons are worth one point, and the bunny balloons are worth three points. If you can get 20 points in five minutes, I'll give you some medals. Got all that? Let me know if you need help using that slingshot. I was quite the sharpshooter in my day. All right, let's get started. Get ready. Get set. Go! Okay, we've got this. The balloons are over here. I'm looking at the map. You can... Oh, no. This is what elite means. Elite pitfall seed version. We gotta be careful of them. <laughs> okay. Hello, balloons. So we have to get 20 of these bad boys. Yes, I got that somehow. That <laughs> didn't even touch it. Where are the rest? Oh, they're over here. I see ya. Gotcha. Who's next? Down this way. Gotta be careful of the pitfall seeds. <laughs> okay. Yes, got it. Oh, there's more over here. There's no bunny balloons yet. We will find them. Oh no, that one was hidden behind a tree. Are you kidding me? Oh, we're at four points. I have a feeling we can do this easy. Where are they at? Oh, they're right over there. Okay. What the heck? That one disappeared. Boom. Gotcha. And gotcha. Cool. And you too, buddy. No, what? There we go, stupid wind, being all crazy and such. So I don't think new balloons appear until- oh my gosh. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say I don't think balloons appear until you've uh, gotten all four of the ones that appeared in the first place, but that is not the case because some appear just over here. We're only at seven points, what is wrong with me? Come on, we gotta do this quick. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose. Gotcha, okay. Now this one down here, we need some bunny bal- Oh no, we need some bunny balloons. Come on, get out of there. Okay, perfect. Hello, balloon friend. Mora down here, that's cool. No, oh, I walked right into that one. This is crazy bananas. This is a lot harder when you record. That's the thing about recording. Games get 100, to time 100 times harder when you're recording. It's like a uh, super hard mode, pretty much. Okay, let's go. Oh, yes, let's use this. There's no pitfall seeds on those. Oh, Josh. Oh, jeez. Oh, Josh? I mean, oh, gosh. What's wrong with me? I was trying to say, oh, jeez, and oh, gosh, at the same time. I see a bunny balloon down there. That's what? Three points, I think? Stupid pitfall seeds? No. Oh, I was trying to dodge that one. I didn't dodge in time. But that's okay. We're almost at 20 points. That was a close one. Okay. Hello, my dear bunny friend. Sweet, three points. Oh. Uh, no. No, stop. I'm not even under it. <laughs> Got it. Okay. There's some more up here. It's hard to tell where they are because the map is a little bit off. It's kind of a pain in the booty. Boom, there we go. Okay, 20 points. Victory. That's one. That's two. There's a bunny balloon over this way. Is it worth going to get? I think so. Come on, gotta be careful. This is, no! Oh, jeez, I couldn't make it through those two. Okay, the bunny balloon is over water right now, so we really can't do anything about it besides wait. Yeah, we, oh, no, the wind is changing. We have to go down and get it quick. Oh boy, all this work for a bunny balloon. Oh gosh, what would you do for a bunny balloon? I don't know, I was gonna, I was trying to rip off the Butterfinger thing. Okay, there we go. Three points, oh yeah. And there's one up here as well, somewhere, there it is. Cool, gotcha. We're at 26 points, folks. I bet people could beat my score like crazy. If you guys can beat the score that I'm currently getting, this is probably the last, this is probably the final score I'm gonna get if this keeps up. Ah, uh, okay, hold up, okay. There's a balloon. If you guys can beat the score I get at the end of this, then go ahead and tweet me a picture. I'd really like to see. Uh, where are they though? Where are the balloons? Where you at? Where you at though? Okay, here we go. There we go. And you too, but oh, don't move the wind. Come on. That's ridiculous, man. Let's go this way. Low 30. Oh, you guys are gonna have trouble beating this score. Oh no. I see a bunny balloon though. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we gotta. Go at sonic speed. Yeah, come on, quickly. We're almost there. Okay, here we are. Bunny balloon. I see ya. 
I missed ya. <laughs> there we go. Three points. Boo freaking yeah. Alright, I see a balloon over here that we can get. I'm pretty... Nope, we can't get that. Oh, man. Go up a little bit. Nope. It changed. Okay. Quickly. We gotta get a little bit more. Where they at? Where they at? Okay. 34. Oh, no. 10 seconds left. 35. No, come on. There we go. Get this one. No, oh, I missed it. No. Oh, man. We got 36 points, though. Victory. Cool. I'm happy we got 36 points. That was a hoot. Let's take a gander at the results. Oops, sorry about that, everyone. And your final score is 36 points. If you guys can beat that, tweet me a picture. I'll put the uh, my Twitter handle on the screen right now. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. You've got enough points to earn a silver tournament award and seven medals. Cool. Thank you so much. I'm happy. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the Elite Balloon Hunt Tour. Tell your friends. Yes, victory, that was so cool. Now there's only one more tour that we can do. Well, there's a lot of tours we can do, but I think I just want to do one more, and that's going to be the Firefly Tour. So let's go ahead and do that. Evening Firefly Tour. Confirm. You want to go on an evening Firefly Tour? Yar, let's do it. Aye, aye, when you be ready to go, grab a seat in the boarding area. All right, I think I'm going to take this chair this time. Anyway, I'll see you guys when the game starts. Hey there, Whippersnapper! Thanks for joining us on the Evening Firefly Tour! You ready to catch some fireflies? Those soft lights hovering in the air are fireflies. If you catch five within five minutes, I'll give you some medals. Use that net you're holding to catch them. Alright, let's get started. Get ready? Get set? Go! I said air earlier instead of air. <laughs> My bad. Anyway, oh, I just saw one. I love the music right now. Mine. Oh. Oh, they are hard to catch. Hmm. How do I catch one that's all the way up there? Do I have to wait until they're down a bit? Oh. Hmm. Come on down, buddy. I don't understand how to catch this little guy. Strange. Maybe I need a silver net. No, probably not. Where are there any more that are a bit lower? I'm not gonna worry about that one that I saw earlier because it doesn't seem to want to come down. Oh, there's one. Oh, fail. <laughs> there we go, I got one. Check it out, you caught a firefly. Nice catch. Nice to catch. Nice to catch you. <laughs> Why do I always feel the need to say that whenever I catch something in a tour? I was doing that when I was playing with the Char. I keep saying, uh, nice to catch you in my head. I don't know, maybe I watch too much anime. That must be from something, right? Oh, hello, firefly. Oh, I missed ya. Yar, I missed ye. Where are you? Oh, you're too high up, I think. Anyway, let's head this way. This is relaxing, don't you guys think so? I know a lot of people watch this in the morning, but I record um, usually during the afternoon. So, um, I think I want to make this kind of a relaxing part of this episode, because I'm really enjoying this. Do you guys hear that music? Isn't it awesome? I love it. It's so cool. I'm not seeing any fireflies around here. Where you at? Where the fireflies at? They're hiding from us, guys. They don't want to be our friends. We gotta find the- Oh, I see one up there, but we can't get to it. Oh. Oh, no. I missed. I missed you. We're gonna have to go around. Oh, man. I'm doing really bad. Oh. There are so many now. Look at this. Oh, there we go. We got one. Uh, three. Cool. Release it and keep going. Let's try to catch this one, too. Oh, no. There we go. Hey, we got it. Cool. I like how they light up and then they, um... And then they dim a bit, so you can't see them. And then they light up a bit again. It's really cool. This is so relaxing. I'm so happy to be doing this right now. I've had a cold for the um, for the past few hours. Like, I just got it today. And it's just... Uh, it's such a pain in the butt to have a cold. Because when you record all the time, you rely on your throat a lot. When you have a YouTube channel, you have to rely on your throat. Because, obviously, you're talking a lot. And when you have a cold, it messes with your voice, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. Why can't I catch this one? There we go, we got it. <laughs> it's kind of really, like, it's a handicap, pretty much, when you're recording. It's like when you're a basketball player and you hurt your ankle, you can't play anymore. 
and well you obviously could play but it would be hard to and that's just like having a cold when you are a youtuber obviously a cold is hard for everyone everybody's gotta talk right <laughs> i'm just saying when you have a job that relies on it and you have to like this job is keeping you going and you need to uh really 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 talk that's when it becomes an issue but i'm i'm all right right now it's not too bad of a cold why are the bridges so close to each other? There's one close to the left, and it's really inefficient. I don't like it. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, if you guys can beat my score on this one as well, then feel free to tweet me another picture, or the first picture, whatever. If you couldn't beat my first score, you're too ashamed to admit it. It's okay, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, it's hard being so awesome. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, where are the fireflies? Here's one. Oh. Oh, come on, I can't tell whether it's behind me or in front of me. It's really tough because the shadow below it is kind of dim and it's really hard to see it because, well, you know, it's dark. You can't really see shadows during the dark. Also, their light isn't very bright because they're only small creatures. We don't have fireflies in New Zealand, so I'm really... Uh, seeing fireflies in games and stuff, it makes me really happy. There we go, nine of them. Cool. It makes me really happy. Every time I see them um, in videos and stuff, I'm like, wow, that must be so cool to have fireflies. Just random little lights flying around. It's super cute and cool and relaxing and I like it. Oh, man. Have you guys ever seen fireflies before? They're really amazing. I love them. Where are they, though? <laughs> I don't see them. I see none. I meant in real life, of course. If you've seen any of them, tell me about it. I really want to know what they're like, because they're very foreign to me. We don't have them here. Oh, man, I can't find another one, unfortunately. This was a little bit of a dud game, but that's okay. There wasn't really many fireflies, but that's cool. It doesn't matter. Anyway, that was a hoot. Let's take a gander at the results. Let's see here. You got nine bucks. That's enough to knit you a silver tortima award and seven medals. Cool, we got silver. I guess I'm just above average. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the evening firefly tour. Tell your friends. Sweet. I'm happy, everyone. Every everyone and body mixed together. <laughs> I'm happy, everybody. That was awesome. That was a lot of fun to uh, play. I really enjoyed that. Anyway, let's just take a little look at this place around here. Maybe we'll do some fishing. What do you guys think? Fishing for sharks? That'd be awesome. The problem with fishing on camera is that there's a huge period of silence because I have to be quiet and I uh, have to close my eyes when I'm. Uh, fishing because if you close your eyes you're only focusing on the noise that the fishing ball thing is making and it doesn't trick you when it bobs up and down that's why I close my eyes so it really helps you guys should try it anyway there's a shark right here so let's do this oh no didn't work of course you gotta make sure he's focused on the ball before you close your eyes okay that's one two Three, okay. Four, come on. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> he psyched me out. He did it five times in a row, stupid butthead. <laughs> anyway, is there any other um, uh, fish or sharks around here? I'd really like some sharks because I don't have any sharks in the museum because I've kind of neglected catching them since uh, I kind of wanted to do it on camera. Since I don't do sh shopping, since I don't do fishing a lot. Oh, there's a big fish right there. Let's catch it. All right, there we go. Oh, we got it. I didn't even have to close my eyes for that one. Sweet, what is it? A black bass? A sea bass. 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 Bass or bass? You guys tell me. <laughs> I have no idea. Which one is it? It's one of them. <laughs> anyway. Any other sharks around here? It's cool that they respawn. That's one of my favorite things. You don't have to keep going in and out of the building. Uh, so that's really interesting and fun. I don't see any fish. I don't see any sharks. I see nothing. No beetles. I saw a fish back there. It was really tiny. Let's go and catch it. I hope it's a pop-eyed goldfish because those are really, really cute and I like them. Okay, come on. Whoa, this guy is on a mission. All right, cool. No, oh, psyched me out. Oh, he didn't even care. He's still there. Cool. 
One. Two. Okay, cool. Well, technically, I think that was three. What is it? Oh, it's a seahorse. Look at that. Cool. I love that. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. I will be donating that. Really cool. Oh, and I see something else that I've never had a chance to catch yet. Let's sneak up on it. I see... Uh, is he moving a bit? I can't tell. Anyway, come on now. And boom. Gotcha. What is it? A wharf roach or something? Yep, it is. Sweet. I caught one. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new catch. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, there's a fish right here. I love all the new uh, spring bugs. That's why I usually uh, come here. Um, I come here every season to check out the new bugs and fish and junk. It's really cool. That's two. I'm not closing my eyes. That's three. I'm just uh, keeping them open. That's four. Come on. There we go. Gotcha. On five. Man, these guys are teases. Oh, a puffer fish. Why are you holding it, dude? Ouch. Oh, that's cool. I want that in my room. I wonder if I can catch another one. That'd be pretty awesome if I could. Whoa, that's a Mayama stag right there. Very big, very huge. Or a carpenter beetle, I can't remember. It's one of the two. Oh, there's a elephant beetle. No, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't an elephant beetle, I can't remember. There's no more sharks hanging around. Let's see what this fish is all about. What you got, Mr. Fish? One. Oh, two. Okay, cool. I got it. Oh, it's an eel. Look at that. A moray eel. And I was like, no way deal. <laughs> Funny. Not really. <laughs> Whatever. Anything else around here? No sharks? I'm just gonna take one more look around here. I see a teeny little fish. And I see a big looking fish. I don't see any sharks, so I think I'm gonna head back. Yeah, there's no sharks around here. There's probably none on this side either. Uh, I didn't, I started from the bottom, so I didn't see the side. But yeah, there's nothing really here. I guess I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna end the episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit the like button. If you like my content and want to be notified whenever I post a video, click the big red subscribe button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can click on one of the white squares in the middle. On the bottom, you'll see my schedule for posting videos too. Thanks for watching.